Hello, welcome to Microlocity. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the XLT Off-Road Bear Favorite 5 Challenge. So these are my top favorite die casts that I have in my collection. And I'm just going to go one by one and explain why they're in my top five. I could tell you it was pretty difficult to come up with just five cars. Um, there's so many different reasons to have favorites. You know, there's looks, there's sentimental value, um, memory of uh, being a kid playing with stuff. So um, I'll just go through these pretty quick. And first on my list is I think it's the 94 uh, Dodge Ram um, 1500. This came out in the 1995 new model series and I remember being pretty excited when this uh, casting came out. I wish it was the the red body and gray bottom like they had when they um, on all their Dodge commercials when they first released the truck the real version my grandma actually my grandma and grandfather actually had that 94 Dodge Ram and I loved the real truck and I remember how excited I was when the Hot Wheel version came out so that is why that's on the list plus I'm also a fan of the Twister movie which also had that same truck so uh, next is another Hot Wheel Nissan 300ZX and this one, this is from the early, early 90s. It's actually number 54 on the blue cards. And I'm pretty sure this is the only red that was released on the 54 card. They had two white ones, which I've never seen before. But as far as I know, this is the only variation with the um, on the red with the Chrome Ultra Hots. And the reason this is in my top five is when I first opened this car as a kid, I really didn't know what the Nissan 300ZX was. And I actually, honestly, I still don't know much about the real car. But I remember I just loved how this one looked as a Hot Wheel. I love the paint. It's very glossy. And you see it's a kind of real uh, deep red Metaflake. Sorry. Um, this one has the opening doors. And basically I just, I like the the maroon, dark uh, red color and the tan interior. And the, um, the clear lenses for the headlights. I just, I always like to look at that car. The next one might be strange to a lot of you. This is like a Euro version of the uh, Ford Transit. So not until recently Ford came out with a Transit in the um, in the U.S. But this has been um, like over in the U.K. for a while. So on the bottom of this, this is a Matchbox. It came out the casting says 86. Um, I tried to do some research on this. It, it's a little harder to find information on Matchbox for some reason. And most of my knowledge is in Hot Wheel anyway. But So this, some things that, that I saw, this came out in the 90s, which kind of makes sense. But I remember when I got this as a kid, um, same with the red car. I wouldn't play with that one, um, the Nissan. And same with this, I put this on the shelf and I would only take this off the shelf and I wouldn't really play with, play with this one with other cars. You can see the tires are still pretty nice. Um, I just like the look of it. Um, this one had really nice suspension. And I kind of like the realistic um, castings. And 
So I don't know. I, I'm not really sure why I love that car, but that van, but I did. And next is probably one of my all-time favorite, um, I'd say, castings as well as um, the real-life version. This is something I've always wanted to own. I, I don't own one, a real-life one, but um, the 91 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. That's, I've owned a few Jeeps in my life, but I haven't owned one of these yet. So, I was kind of happy when Matchbox came out with this casting. I think it looks pretty good. They did a good job on it. I own, I have a few of these castings in th different colors. So that's why that's in my collection. And last is probably the car that I played with the most since I got it. And you can tell by all the the wear marks, I mean the tires, this has lots and lots of play time on it. This car was basically in every car chase that I've ever had as a kid. Um, this is a Majorette Chevy Impala. I would assume this came out in the late 80s, early 90s. And I just, I always loved the big, um, the big square body cars. And this one had great suspension as well. They had a few different types of that. So here's, here's the taxi version. This one also had a lot of play. So that is my top five. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.